Hey everybody, welcome back to Valhalla. So it looks like we're going to have to file for bankruptcy because $8,000 is absolutely ridiculous for an electricity bill. That's not even including our rent. So that is, yeah, that's not cool, honestly. We're gonna have to go get food stamps. We're gonna have to get the whole deal, honestly. We can't afford this. We've got $6,638 to our name. We've only got a couple days till it's due. Yeah, not great. Anyway, we did buy what we wanted, so we should focus at work, hopefully. That means we're going to need to get those tips. We're really going to need to get them. Alright, boss left the hoodie here, yeah. Let's hop on our phone. What is new today? Just augmented eye? Really? Well, let's go check it out. GSF January 4th card. The GSF January 4th card announced 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke headlining by Alana Smithy. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the Great DK and Aaron's. Full card below, 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke GSF Championship, Red Comet Jr. versus Nagisa Women's Championship, Akito versus The Great DK, Roy Campbell versus Aaron's GSF Junior Championship, and Jack Baum and Blaze versus Huli and Karakalta Tag Team Championship, and Osuna versus Siegfried. These are probably all references to real wrestlers, I'm guessing. Anyway, wrestling. My boss made me curious. Yeah, wrestling's, uh, it's enjoyable to watch, honestly. I think it's a lot of fun. Let's see. Nano Kimo is now making smart underwear. Smart underwear? The fuck? By Lana Smithy. Uh, if underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. Just change its color to black and you will barely notice. Yeah. That won't change the smell though. They're not that advanced. Uh, alright then. Okay. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this in innovative product. The PR representative told the augmented eye, I'm already using them. Super comfy, if you ask me. I don't know, does it change how it feels when it changes its design? That'd be the main question. Because then you could have something that looks nice and, you know... You don't have to, uh... Sacrifice your style, either. And Dangerous Use Admin has been arrested. Again. Well, this is definitely not the first time, then. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced its popular text board Danger U with a new threat, which resulted in the rest of the site's admin, known as Furfur, for a second time. We have no details to give other than that he was arrested as part of the ongoing investigation. Cybercrime unit Lisette Blanc told the Augmented Eye during a call. We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired by, about the arrest, Furfur would only respond with a calm, not this shit again. Oh man, here we go again. Poor guy, that's all you gotta say about it? Yeah. He's uh, honestly getting fucked over by this a lot. Yeah, what did you say here? You just thought about looking up prices. D did not. I mean, it would be kind of fun having a that could change on the fly. Did I already read these? They didn't say they were new. There's nothing new here either, right? Yeah, nothing new there. I'm just gonna check real quickly if I read those already. It doesn't look like I've read these yet, so I'm gonna go through them. I'm not sure why they weren't marked as new, but they didn't sound familiar to me. Anyway, Apollo it's Bank is being attacked, Thread 2. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented Eye talked about it, but very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think AE got tired of her. Fucking shame. So all we'll get is clickbait from now on. 
Gotta get worse at the very least. Why not say there's a lot of people inside the building? At least three people are already dead. Hell, is someone shoot there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Insider Anon. You gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, Based Anon. Seems like a lot happened while I was gone. Yeah, it does not seem to be going well, honestly. Apollo Bank is being attacked through three. Explosion registered. And media is still quiet about it. Can't confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. And this is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. Ow. A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh. Someone doing some stupid shit on the internet is actually being useful. Yeah, that does not happen often. Stupid shit on the internet is usually just stupid shit on the internet. And, thread 4. Can't confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from the servers all around the world. Remember those leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty unsettling. Damn. This, uh, the file is available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from the good shitty government and white knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from this attack was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack, how do you even plan something this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the witnesses are telling the police. Okay, looks like I'll have to leave. But I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time though. Godspeed, Anon. Thanks. Yeah, Godspeed. Goddamn. That is a big operation though. Ooh. Anyway, uh, good thing I did not spend any money here because I think we need to save every time that we can. So, it looks like everything. Yeah, let's uh... Actually, did I check what you said? Did you say anything on these? Some deep ship happened right there. Will you read the file? Nah. Yeah. I agree, I probably wouldn't read the file either. Honestly. Let's just go to work then, man. Just another day. December 9th, yeah, so it is the 19th. Yeah, it's 1912, so. Good, good evening, Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so many days without notice. See, Jill? You'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? Uh, the need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what it, what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass, but remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried. Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, uh, I don't know. Kinda like that eyebrow shift on him. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Ah, oh, fine, fine. Hey, boss, why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you'd totally look cute with it. I see. I don't think I'm... Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours, it's just... Preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Is it now? Right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but, you know... All we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here, as best as we can. Yeah. So, cheer up. 
Clyde smells sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. And Dennis, fine, did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyway, let's start the day. Let's start the day. I'm not really gonna look for new music, I think we're fine with this. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh, yeah, Gil? Huh. Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Donna Zane. May I have your name? A BTC. He's an official. Brian. Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. Chill um, you, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyway. Get on me like I'm just another client. Alright, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, you say that, but... Whenever it comes to an official of, like, this caliber, it's... It's impossible to fully treat them normally. Unless you're kind of on an equal level with them, you know? What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Uh, let's go with the basics. Uh, sugar rush, please. Coming right up. Okay. That's easy enough. I don't know if he's sending me any mixed signals, but... Yeah, let's go ahead. Just get him a... Let's not go with alcohol. Yeah, let's not go with alcohol. He's our unofficial business. I don't think he needs alcohol in his system. Sounds like he's your unofficial business anyway. All mixed. Here. Yeah, this one's nice. Back in training, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? Uh, they're like fried eggs of mixing drinks. Uh, they're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender isn't bright. Huh, they never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Donna has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in the ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folk have been trying to get el to elude illegal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't think too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although, it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Huh? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shady drinks. This one is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that the whole Farmer Fabrics affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Oh, then you tell me what that was. I remember reading that. One suplex. 
You actually do want some more call then. I thought you were here on official business, but hey, sometimes people like to drink on official business, I guess. Here. The registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert. Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert. The one and only. Oh dear god. Gillian, what are you doing? What trouble have you gotten yourself into, please? Oh dear. Yes, he's uh, totally Robert. Yep. Joe called you Gil, though. Uh, it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh, I see. Sorry, Brian. I was having some. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. Uh, I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Uh, not really. No. Although, wait, hold up, so he's the one who made it? Wait, how do I check the- uh, oh, god damn. Gil, you're a crazy bastard. Although, yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? A clean and timely delivery of correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, huh, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Oh, you again? Wow. Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Huh? Sure, on it. Yeah, a beer. Big beer. What happened? I hope nothing uh, bad happened to say. She's, uh, if I remember correctly, she's safe fr stays friend, right? So, I hope not. Three, two, four, two, four, eight. All mixed. There you go. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and... Oh. Right. That. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air suddenly is a lot heavier. I don't blame you, yeah, she's worried as hell. I mean, I could tell her everything will be alright, but that would just sound a bit... condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? Maybe a joke? Nah, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just try and say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A uh, private detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe you'll want his services. What's his name? I believe it was Art. Then, no, Von DeLay. Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Say. Oh, seriously? So you still have hope? No, you don't. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now, and I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. Yeah, once you fall into full depression, it's not good usually, so... I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. Really now? That surprises me. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whether, whatever they may be. Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could just solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just... weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. Or all at the same time. I'm glad to know that you have that much common sense, at least. Alright. Oh, wait. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? 
uh, something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. Usually alcohol's not great mixed with depression, but something sweet doesn't sound too bad. Oh, I've got to drink here is water. That's alright though. Water's good stuff. 